Just so you know, amusement park rides in movies and in reality are two different genres. The main leads eat cotton candy and have a cute little date in amusement parks in movies only. Because in reality, rides can kill you. Or worse, they can stop for an hour. Let's see which ride was the culprit this time. Stay with us till the end for the details. First, we've got a hint for you. When the world becomes so small that it suffers you. Did you guess the ride from our hint? So the ride that didn't amuse people this time was It's a Small World. The incident happened at the Fantasyland area in the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, where the ride broke down. As a result, the people were trapped in the small world for an hour. One mother who was on the ride recorded this and posted the video on TikTok. In the caption, the TikTok user called the whole experience torture. We could hear the popular TikTok sound, oh no, in the background, which described the situation perfectly. Also, we could see a line of boats near the ride's exit, where one fully booked ride was visibly sinking slowly into the water. One TikTok user asked in the comments whether any of the cast members told the guest what was going on, to which the guest at the ride replied that the boat was stopped for 45 minutes before the staff noticed any malfunction. Now, who thought that the famous Disney song, It's a Small World, could become a nightmare? It's a small world, but not necessarily a pleasant one. Now, according to Time.com, the Sherman Brothers song, It's a Small World, is the most publicly performed song of all time. But even this fact couldn't make the one hour halt a fun experience. One TikTok user was so worried about the song that he asked in comments whether the ride turned the song off or not. The woman who posted the video replied that no, they didn't, and the song was on repeat, and she called the whole experience torture again. The user who asked this question lost it after the reply and said that the song would be stuck in the guest minds forever, as that user also had the ride for two minutes, and it took two weeks to get the song out of his head. Other users related to the experience and shared their own. One said that the same happened happened to them when they were a kid in the late 80s, and the employees never turned off the song, and now they can't listen to the song without cringing. Another added that they had a deep hatred for this song after an incident in a CA park when they were 12. The sad part is that now they're 31. One user was thinking ahead and said that he smelled a lawsuit coming. After reading all the comments, we feel that the song should now come with a trigger warning, as it has affected so many people badly due to the park's negligence. And just maybe the park should pay all these people for therapy who couldn't get this song out of their heads decades later. While many users were losing their mind that the song was playing on loop, another found the whole situation amusing and asked the person who uploaded the video to upload the video again without the oh no sound. He wanted to hear what the people in the boat were saying and apparently wanted to hear the song stuck in a loop too. If we were the person getting this comment, we would have instantly pulled a Rachel Green, replying, Is my misery amusing to you? The ride is a criminal. And you know what we do with criminals? We dig deep into their background. So here's the background check. The ride was built way before your parents were born. Billions of people had ridden it since its operations in October 1971, when Walt Disney World started. It allows the guests to get a taste of floating around the globe, and it has 300 singing animatronic dolls that represent seven continents. The dolls can be seen in traditional costumes that represent various cultures from around the globe, and together they sing the theme song, which is meant to promote global peace. It's a Small World is a global ride, as it also operates in Disneyland in California, Disneyland Paris, and Shanghai Disneyland. The ride went through several changes over the years. Now, it also includes includes more recent Disney characters. It claims to be the happiest place on the earth, but after the incident last month, many people disagree. Walt Disney World has an annual attendance of 58 million visitors, with nearly a quarter million tourists coming daily. So it's time that they think of a better way of crisis management, because one hour to respond to a technical fault puts their title of the most visited vacation resort in danger. Now, where else have we seen this 
this ride being uncomfortable for someone. If you think you're having a weird deja vu, like you've seen or heard about this somewhere before, you aren't the only one. Let's put the finger on it for you. It reminded us of the episode from 1993 of The Simpsons, where Bart and Lisa were not at all amused by a fictionalized version of this ride. Bart immediately wanted to get off the ride, and Lisa became high on the water from the ride, which caused the whole experience to become unpleasant for her. So what do we learn from this? For starters, always trust The Simpsons review. And secondly, for all those times you couldn't remember where it happened, just know that it happened in The Simpsons. Well, it turns out that Disney employees had their hands full last month. The ride going through a technical fault wasn't the only trouble Walt Disney World saw last month. First off, we saw a ride malfunction on Splash Mountain, due to which the guests had to escape from a moving log boat. And then we saw the queue at Disney World Resort turning into a fighting arena real quick when two families couldn't wait for their turn in the queue. The clip of the footage got released, which shows at least 10 people engaged in a fist fight while shouting a torrent of curse words in front of their children. The brawl ended when Disney staff stepped up. But do you want to know who won? No one. As one person ended up in the hospital and three people got arrested. Well, being an employee at Disney World is no joke. You get hyper excited kids, impatient adults, proposing couples, and on top of that, malfunctioning rides. Now, let's see what's hot in other related news. First up, we've got good news from the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Well, Disney may be behind on their monthly ride maintenance, but they're definitely way in the front when it comes to taking steps to improve gender inclusivity. Disney's American Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, where children get a magical makeover, is now also hiring men. Previously, only women were hired as employees there. The employees will now be called Fairy Godmother's Apprentices there, as they're ditching the previous name, Fairy Godmothers in Training. The chairman of Disney's Parks Division, Josh Demaro, wrote in an old blog post that he wanted the theme parks to be a place where everyone felt welcomed, and he wanted his cast members to feel a sense of belonging at work. Next up, which one of you wants a mansion near Disneyland? Well, good news for whoever wants that, because a mansion that is 10 miles away from all four Disney theme parks in Florida and is worth $15 million is on sale now. The said mansion is located in Golden Oak and has just one neighbor. The other perks that come with the house include high ceilings, seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a custom Swarovski crystal chandelier, and Disney-themed stained glass windows. That's not all. It also includes a Falcon-themed home theater, a space-themed bar, a toothless-themed pizza oven, hidden Mickeys, a pool with a rock waterfall, and four garages. We don't know if we're successful as a salesman to you or not, but we've successfully convinced ourselves to buy this house. The only catch is that we don't have $15 million. Last up, Victoria and Albert's is reopened to cater to your culinary needs. Now this is the third good news in a row. Victoria and Albert's, located in Disney Grand Floridian Resort and Spa in Orlando, was reopened on July 28, after it was closed to enhance the grandeur and elegance that it promised. Online bookings aren't available as of now, and you'll have to call them in advance to book your slot, as the seats are limited. You can choose from three dining choices while booking your seat. You can either enjoy your food in the dining room with its exquisite floral design, or eat in the Queen Victoria's room, where only four couples can dine per night. If you want to see your food made in front of you, you can also book the chef's table, where only six guests per evening are allowed. The reviews say that the three-hour dinner is worth your savings. So what are you waiting for? That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about this new from Disney World? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you at the next one.